Sure, the parts are approved. One takes right, clear for takeoff. That last, uh, I missed a call sign. That was for four Quebec Juliet. That's for four Quebec Juliet. For straight out the parts are approved. One takes right, clear for takeoff. One takes right, uh, clear for takeoff. Uh, Seven zero four Quebec Juliet. All right, so I'm going to taxi out. We got an approval to take off, right? So now we're ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to help taxi you onto the center line. This is the throttle. So this is the only thing I want you touching, right? Uh -huh. So now what I want you to do, we're on the runway. You can see an airplane just departed. Yeah. We're going to keep ourselves center on the runway. And I want you to give us full throttle. Go for it. Slowly and smoothly transition full throttle. There you go. While keeping rudder pedals, no brakes, just rudders. Keep going all the way full throttle. Now what I want you to do, you can see our airspeed's coming alive. We're actually going pretty fast now. I want you to rotate, pull back a little bit, just a little bit, and voila, just like that, we are flying. <laughs> now hold on, don't fight the controls. Don't fight the controls. Loosen up your hand grip on the uh, controls. There you go. You don't want to death grip it, right? Uh, yeah. You, just, you know, you can actually fly this airplane with just two fingers, right? So make sure you have full throttle all the way in. We want to maximize that. Now we have full throttle, you can let this go. Put both hands on the control wheel. All right, so now we're flying, man. <laughs> now I'm flying with you at this uh, airplane, right? So I have the controls right now. So we have to kind of, we have to follow procedure when we take off. Oh, okay. So it's pretty simple, right? We're just climbing and staying over the runway. Oh, okay. And we're going to Santa Monica. So we have the 405 freeway, kind of uh -huh. just barely see it over there. All right, we're just chugging along here now. So now our main mission is just to kind of uh, fly straight uh -huh. and wings level, and we're gonna just slowly climb to about 22. We're at 1,100 feet climbing. All right, over to Santa Monica, and uh, we'll see you in just a little bit. Welcome Quebec, Juliet. How many flights do you do on average every day? Uh, a lot. <laughs> a lot. All right, so you're flying the plane. <laughs> you're, you're doing this all on your own. <laughs> Look at the plane flying itself practically, right? <laughs> but you got the control, so keep your hand, at least one hand on the control at all times. Whenever you have the plane, because remember, I, you have the controls, not okay. me. <laughs> all right. So let's pull back a little bit and let's increase our climb just a little bit, right? That's pretty good. So what's going to happen is we're going to slow the airplane. Airplane's going to slow down, mm -hmm. but we're going to climb a lot faster. Cut number zero two Sierra, base turn your discretion. Number two, flying traffic one mile right, base and wait to one the option. Zero two Sierra, number two for two one, looking for traffic. So you see that little pass right there? Yeah. I want to aim for over there. So let's give it a little left aileron. There you go. You're flying the plane, not me. Copy that. Looking for traffic. And we're going to fly right through that little, uh, those, between those two little peaks. Now that's 30 degrees of bank angle. I don't want to steer steeper than that. So you can fly any direction, but no steeper than that. All right. Good job. I'm uh, making a right 360, 65 Foxtrot. Santa Monica, Tower 6, uh, Cessna 704, Quebec, Juliet, uh, just a part of Van Nuys. 7.0, Tango, runway 31, clear to land. Clear to land, thank you. Other aircraft calling, say again. Roger, this is uh, 704, Quebec, Juliet, uh, Sepulveda Pass, uh, 1,900, climbing 2,000, uh, for same transition around the up here. November 704, Cape Beck, Juliet, Santa Monica Tower, you cut out both times uh, in the middle of your transmission. Squawk 0225, say request. Uh, 0225, and uh, we'd like to fly uh, around the up here, uh, lower level. November 4, Quebec, Juliet, that's a just requested. Say type aircraft. We are a Cessna 150 for, uh, for Quebec, Juliet. All right, cool. So let's level off. So we're going to push the, I'm on the controls with you, right? You got, you're flying. I'm just going to assist you. So now we're going to level off here and I'm going to reduce some of the throttle a little bit. We're going to bring it back down to 2,500 RPM. All right. And then I'm going to just trim it a little bit forward. 
So now we can enjoy uh, the flight here. So what I'd like you to do, um, so let's maintain 2,100 feet, right? So you just don't want it to go up or you don't want it to go down. But this is a good opportunity to experience those G's that I was talking about, right? So a positive G is when you get pushed into your seat. So if you pull back, do you feel that? All right, or if you push forward, you kind of come out of your seat. So those are both uh, negative and positive G's. The last one was the negative G, right? Get lifted out of your seat. So what I'd like you to do, we're at 2,100 feet, is give me some S turns, right? Let's try to do some turns like this. Number two, runway two one, clear left. Let's go 17. Number 17. But don't descend, right? We want to stay at the same altitude because we don't want to hit any of these mountains here. Seriously. <laughs> but you know my voice now, so it's a plus. You're uh, you're even and out. No more uh, Russian. <laughs> I'm slacking. All right, so check it out. This is cool because you can enjoy. This is Bel Air right here, right? And then you have UCLA over there. So what I'd like you to do is. Let's, uh, you see that house on the, the top of the hill? Aim it right for that house. November, is there Charlie Lima? Expect that in two minutes. We'll go after a king or a four mile final. Job. Nice. Smooth movement. Look at all these tennis courts. Now what I'd like you to do is once you get over here, maybe in about five seconds, I want you to make a nice smooth right hand turn. Turkey 69 Canyon. I have information, Mike, inbound, landing. Turkey 6909 Tango, Santa Monica Terra, make great traffic, runway 2 and Squawk 02. So no more than 30 degrees, right? Yeah. Keep those uh, turns nice and smooth. So I'm assisting you, I'm just leveling us off right now. Right. Right So we have the uh, Getty Center, which is kind of cool, right off our right hand side. And if you want to see that, I'm going to tilt the wing over. Check that out. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah. November zero two Sierra, I will call your base. All right, you see those uh, two buildings are like twins. November six five Fox. We're gonna fly on the right side of them. Actually, you know what? Let's fly between that the building right there and those two buildings. We'll fly right in the center over there. And you got the controls, not me. Now the only thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little bit of right rudder to level off, uh, straighten out the plane so it flies nice and straight. There you go. November zero, Charlie Lima, runway two, and line up and wait. Say again. November zero, Charlie Lima, runway two, and line up and wait. November zero, Charlie Lima, runway two one, line up and wait. Line up and wait, uh, runway two one zero, Charlie Lima. November zero two Sierra traffic twelve o'clock two miles opposite direction off syndicate seven hundred helicopter. Zero two Sierra looking for traffic. Police ten traffic twelve o'clock two miles opposite direction of the southbound one one thousand four hundred indicated so, yellow Cherokee. Santa Monica Towers right over there where that airport is. Uh -huh. So that, he's directing all the traffic in this area, so that's what you're hearing right here. November zero, Charlie Lima, high speed taxi down runway two, unapproved. All right, so we're actually starting our descent, right? We're descending down. We're gonna descend all the way down to about 500 feet, and we're gonna circle around the pier here. zero, November zero two Sierra base turn your discretion runway two one cleared for the I'm gonna hold Again, this altitude for just a second because we can't be lower than uh, a thousand feet over clear. here. Clear for base turn, we'll Can turn I take now. a photo? Like, you wanna climb? But, what I'm gonna take a photo. Zero, three, oh, two, oh, three, go for it. I got the controls. Any route, negative November seven zero three two X three Santa Monica Tire make left traffic runway two one altimeter two nine nine zero wind two four zero five. Roger uh three two X right. November 4, Quebec, Juliet, use caution for parasailers, low level offshore. Roger, uh, for 4, Quebec, Juliet.
Sometimes if you're lucky, especially in the springtime, you get to see whales and dolphins and stuff out here, yeah. All right, clear for the short approach, 2 on 6 on Foxtrot. So you're on the controls with me? All right. So we're at 600 feet above the uh, sea right here. November 6, 5 Foxtrot, traffic 12 o'clock, one mile low level orbit, I'll syndicate 600 helicopter. Uh, negative 6 on Foxtrot. Are they east or west of the 405? November 6, 5 Foxtrot, no factor. Thank you. Turning uh, northbounds for uh, Quebec, for Quebec Juliet. November 4, Quebec Juliet, Roger. November 02, Sierra, number 2, following a sport cruiser close in left base. 02, Sierra, have uh, number 2 for 2 1. Now going yeah, up again. So now we're climbing, yeah. So what we're going to do is let's follow the 10th freeway. If you plan to do touch and go. Turn us to the right and let's follow this freeway. For Quebec, Juliet, traffic 12 o'clock, 1 mile eastbound, 1,500 indicated Cherokee. Got that traffic in sight for Quebec, Juliet. So she called out that traffic for us right over there. November 0 to Sierra, make one slight us turn to the right for space. Slight us turn to the right, 0 to Sierra. November 0 9 Tango, number 3, following a Cherokee half mile final. Box. November 09 or Tango, number 2, following traffic, short final. Uh, Tango, right, number 2, short final. Alright, cool. Yeah, whenever you, you don't see anything go in front of you, push the nose down a little bit and see what you're flying. There's an airplane, uh, Cherokee. There's another aircraft right over there. Do you see them? Other aircraft yeah. calling, say again. 2X right down to the beam. November 3, 2 xy I will call your base, your number 3. Roger, number 3, you'll call my base, 3, 2 x -ray. Another airplane right over there. Check that guy out. So there's a lot of airplanes flying around. So you have to always pay attention. Of course, yeah. <laughs> this is a very busy airspace. So, so yeah, it's even more important to pay attention. Monica, 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 November 3, 2, X-ray number 2, flying a Cherokee, passing off your left runway, 2 one cleared to land. So how long does that take you looking for traffic? Uh, and, about 40, uh, about 50 to 60 to hours of flight time. November 0, 2, Sierra, right traffic, please. Right traffic. Alright, so it's your, uh, your airplane. Boy, look at all that traffic. So we're going to follow the 405 freeway all the way back, so if you want to make the turn, whenever you're ready to make the turn. 3-2-X-ray, no joy on the traffic. November 3-2-X-ray, turn base now, he's on short final. 3-2-X-ray. There you go, good job. November 4, Quebec, Julia, are you going back to Van Nuys? Uh, Roger, heading back to Van Nuys, you want to switch into back over? That's affirmative for, uh, for Quebec, Julia. Some of the landmarks that I guess you guys have already seen, but they're always cool to see them again. Is you have UCLA right off our right hand side. So if you want, what we can do is we can still fly the airplane, climb, but can transition the plane so that we can see it. See that? Yeah. <laughs> Turkey Sarah and Tango, contact run. I'll take that on. November 6, 5 Foxtrot, if you want the short approach, make a right 360, beam the numbers. Make a right short uh, 360, beam in the numbers, the short approach. 6, 5 Foxtrot. Can you please take a picture of November 6, of course. Victor, Papa, traffic 12 o'clock, one mile, same direction, the southbound one 1,400 indicated sport cruiser. I have that traffic in sight, Alma Team Visual 6, uh, Victor, Papa. November yeah. 4, Quebec, Juliet, keep the code once you're north of the Getty, contact Sam Star. Roger that, uh, for Quebec, Juliet. Thanks for all your help. No problem. We'll do another one. November 02 Sierra, number 2, following traffic approaching the interchange. Runway 21, clear to land. Right. 0 02 Sierra, clear to land, 21, following traffic at the interchange. Alright, so we're at a, a good altitude now that we can cross these mountains, so we can maintain this.
don't want to descend now. Oh, whoa, 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 I got the controls, I got the controls. Easy with the controls, right? So you don't, you don't want like... So why is it going down? Like I'm pushing... I'm trimming, I'm trimming it oh. out. The one thing I was doing is I was trimming it and I was trying to make you hold yeah, altitude. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you kind of let it go and then you push back on it, right? Yeah. yeah. So you want to be very easy with the controls. Sometimes hold on to it with me. Sometimes you can trim it up. Or you can trim it down, right? See how I'm trimming it down? It's causing more back pressure on this, right? Yeah. So we're at 2,100 feet. We'll maintain this. We have some traffic ahead of us. Van Nuys Tower, this is uh, Cessna 704, Quebec, Juliet, uh, beam uh, Getty Center, inbound uh, uh, with Oscar. Cessna 704, Quebec, Juliet, Van Nuys Tower, traffic head to your left, 2,600, Texan, continuing southbound. Make right traffic for me, 16 right. I got the traffic in sight, uh, 16 right. Uh, 704, Quebec, Juliet. Cessna 146, Connex, look out of departure, good flight. All right, so let go of the controls. I got the controls. Let them go. Let them go, there you go. So you notice there's back pressure, right? So we can trim out this wheel right here so that it flies level, hands off. So whenever there's pressure on the uh, the yoke, we can trim that pressure off, right? Yeah. So that it doesn't, it doesn't want to climb or it doesn't want to descend. All right, your controls. You are back on the controls. There it is, yeah, that's uh, Van Nuys Airport. So make sure that mic is keyed right, that uh, little mic is right in front of your mouth. There you go. So we don't have to climb, we can level it off right here. Look at all these airplanes. Airplane going into Burbank, there's one that just departed. Do you see him over there? He's kind of going this direction, right yeah. in front of us. You have to have a good vision, like. <laughs> Yeah, you're doing good. You know, so just the most important thing is whenever you're flying, it's definitely easy on the movements. Even with your rudder pedal, you don't want to get too much rudder. Uh -huh. But uh, I, I was moving the uh, rudder left and right, left and right. So we want to go wings level, right? Don't want to climb, and then we can straighten out the airplane. There we go. Ground point seven. Ground point seven eight two five six. So we're gonna follow this. We're gonna stay to the left side of the airport, and. Uh, we're landing on the big runway, but on the other side. So we oh, have to kind of swoop around and land on the other side. Because that's the way that the winds are uh, are favoring. Basically, we have to make a U-turn. Exactly. <laughs> because yeah, the winds are coming uh, in this direction. So that's, uh, they want everybody doing the same thing. So luckily for the other people coming in from the other direction, they get to fly straight into the runway. All right, I'm going to trim it down a little bit because I notice we're climbing, so I'm going to put a little bit down trim. This is flying. We're doing it. So we're <laughs> going to descend down to 1,000. Actually, we're going to maintain 2,000. So let's hold this altitude out. Do you see this road right here? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep that road on the left side of us, and we're going to follow that road all the way down. Oh, okay. So that way, as long as you can see the road on your uh, left-hand side, we're just going to follow it all the way down. And then once we get closer to the airport, I'm going to go hands-on. Oh, okay. And then we're going to fly uh, landing together. <laughs> but don't fight me on any of the controls. Okay. All right. Cessna four six Bravo contact Wyman Tower one three five point zero. Welcome to Wyman Tower. Have a good day, four six Bravo. So whereabouts do you live? Burbank. Burbank. So you're over there somewhere, yeah. and you can see from up here. We're only 2,000 feet above the uh, uh, mean sea level, so we're about 1,000 feet, a little over 1,000 feet above the ground. But you can see how much how much a field of view you have. I mean, you got Burbank Airport. Can you see it over there? Yeah, yeah.
You get to see a lot. Full Quebec, <laughs> Juliet, full stop or pattern? Uh, we're going to do a full stop for uh, Fort Quebec, Juliet. Cessna 704, Quebec, Juliet, you want a full stop or the pattern? I'm sorry, I thought I transmitted. Uh, full stop for uh, Fort Quebec, Juliet. Cessna 4, Quebec, Juliet, run on 1 6 right, clear land. 1 6 right, clear land, 704, Quebec, Juliet. All right, so he just gave us an approval to land, so now we can land on that runway. On a towered airport, you can see the tower is right there. Um, you can't land unless you get an approval. The only exception to that would be an emergency, right? You gotta land, so you gotta land. All right, cool, so you're flying the airplane. <laughs> so we put in a little bit of right rudder. You see how the airplane, the ball's on the right, so you need a little bit of right to fly straight. So go ahead and apply a little bit of right rudder pedal. You got your aileron, rudder pet is the pedal at the bottom, right? Just a little bit. Keep the wings level. There you go. Maybe a little too much, right? Because it's shifting off now to the other side. So just little increments, right? Flying the airplane, uh, go ahead and let go of the controls. You can fly the airplane with two fingers like this, right? Trim it out. It doesn't require a lot of force, just little forces and little inputs. All right, go, so go on the controls with me. Calm. So our just where we want to land is that threshold. You see all those lines? Yeah. That's a threshold. So that's where we want to uh, that's where we want to aim for for our landing site. Now we can't land before that, right? So the threshold we can land at the threshold or behind. You can uh, okay. see how long this runway is. It's a big runway. All right. So you're on the controls with me. <laughs> Everything check. I'm lining myself up, right? I'm centering myself. Uh -huh. You're on the control. So little inputs. You see what I'm doing with those little inputs? Yeah. I was pulling back for aerodynamic braking. North ramp. Captain Cook, Doug, proceed via app as requested. Van Nuys, uh, ground, this is Cessna 704, Quebec Juliet, off at Golf, Quest Taxi to Rotor Effects. Cessna 704, Quebec Juliet, Van Nuys, ground, taxi to Rotor Effects via Alpha. Uh, via Alpha to Rotor Effects, uh, Quebec Juliet. Hey, Remember, Nine Delta Romeo, pass behind the Cessna at Golf, head into your right. Cessna side, place behind this. Cessna All right, Delta so go Delta ahead, Romeo. you can control the uh, member, put your hands Van down on the... Cousin Cook, Doug, Van Nuys Ground. Cousin Cook, Doug, request to So we got the approval to taxi back. And our time is perfect. Cousin Cook, Doug, proceed as requested via Apple. We're a little bit over time, but I think we uh, did good. Van Nuys Ground, Signature West, Doug. Signature West, Doug, Van Nuys Ground. Good afternoon, sir. I got a G4, excuse me, site 400, so I'd like to go southbound ramp to ramp by the Alpha. Signature West, Doug, proceed as requested via Alpha. Thank you, Ground, Signature West, Doug. Get some fresh air in here. Oh yeah. All right. What do you think? You got any questions? Pressure aircraft from Mesh Popka. Wind variable four altimeter two niner niner one. Runway one six and use information. Papa. So after flying fifty cars, you get license.
You can uh, apply to take uh, the check ride with the FAA examiner, and then what they do is they check everything. They talk about knowledge, they actually, they actually see you flying, and then at that point, they'll either say, yes, you are approved. It's like a driving test, right, with the DMV. Roger, April Golf. So they make sure that you're, uh, you're capable of flying. So you have to learn with a CFI, something like that. So what I recommended uh, to Ish is get a, buy a logbook, because I'll sign this time for a logbook. So it's actual flight training, because you guys were doing a lot of the flying. I was teaching you some technique, and uh, you're getting some real-time experience. It's a lot of fun. You know, you got, it looks like you got a, a cool friend. So you guys can, uh, once you get your pilot's license, you go travel and go places. One place I like going, I like going to Vegas. I don't know if you like uh, Vegas or gambling, yeah, but it's yeah. always fun. Uh, I think it was, uh, was the Bonanza 59er Sierra Van Nuys ground, runway 16 right, taxi via Alpha Charlie and verify the call sign out of Hathaway. Taxi, it's a Cessna 89er 79 Sierra. There's an 89er, 79er Sierra, runway 16 right, taxi via Alpha Charlie. Okay, 16 right, Alpha Charlie, we would prefer a kilo departure intersection this afternoon. So for how here, much can you buy this? Approved, this plane? Yeah. Okay, taxi via Alpha. Maybe 20,000, I'm right not sure. Zero, seven, you nine, can zero. look it up. You know, go on to Barnstormers or trade a plane. You can look for airplanes. You can find a really great airplane for 30, you know, 30 or 40,000. Yeah, some people do. They buy their own airplane, uh, use it for, uh, for training, you know?